On today's adventure, we're going to KOA at their Lookout Mountain location in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And we're going to go ahead and do a little camp out cooking while we're at it. So won't you come along with us on this extraordinary, ordinary life? We're the Huffman family, and we believe that an ordinary life is truly extraordinary. And after living almost 17 years in the military, we decided it's time to see what this country truly has to offer. So we're making our way from South Florida Georgia Line all the way to Washington State. We're going to stay at some really unique stays and, of course, lots and lots of food. Oh my goodness, you guys, we just pulled into our site at KOA here out Lookout at Outlook Mountain. And Lookout it Mountain. huh? I get it backwards. Lookout Mountain. Lookout Mountain. Here at KOA at Lookout Mountain. We were originally going to camp out in the truck, but it's supposed to rain at 3 a.m. and I if you have to get up in the middle of the night like I do, I really didn't want to have to walk in the rain to use the restroom. So luckily they had availability at one of their cabins, which is just a half bath, so enough for a toilet in there and I don't have to worry about getting wet. But looky how cute these are. We are right up against the woods in the back. They have an adorable little swing over here, which I'm loving. A little dirty. I'm gonna have to, you know, wipe it down. I don't know how you open the door. Huh? Did they give you a coat? No. They didn't give you a coat, huh? Okay, so let's go on a little tour. And come into this cabin. We have ourselves a table with a bench stool and a window. Another window, back window, behind the door window with a trash can. You have a broom and dust pan, which is really nice. What would you say that is, like a twin bed? No, no, Almost no. Almost queen? That's a twin. That's a twin? This is a either full. full or... Full, that's right. Either full or a double. So, full size bed. And then, of course, we got the half bath. So, all we need is a toilet and a sink for tonight. And of course we have an AC unit, which is really nice. And if you camp here in the winter, they also have a heater, which is real nice as well. So I think we're gonna get all of our sleeping bags and our luggage in here. Are we bringing the suitcases in? I don't know, we'll see. I don't think we need to. Okay, well at least the sleeping bags. Okay, now that we are all done setting in for the night, I got these cute little lights for kind of like mood lighting wherever we're staying and camping. Got those at Pop Shelf, yeah. So if you've ever been to a Pop Shelf, it's kind of like the dollar store in Hobby Lobby had a baby. So it's a great place. It was only, that only cost me like $5. But our cabin is all set up for the night and we're gonna get started cooking. All right, so this video though, especially camping, we wanted yes. to do a lot of cooking. Yes. And this video definitely would not be po possible without the company Gas, Gas One. One. So these guys reached out to us and said, hey, we like the content that you're providing and producing. Um, we would like to be a part of it. And they sent us a burner, which I'm gonna show a picture of here. Our um, crawfish videos, if you haven't seen them, do really well. And we use these type of gas burners all the time for yeah. our gas burners. But we kind of ran out of time for them to do another crawfish boil. Yeah. So we thought it would be really fun to show you the versatility that these burners can bring. Yes. 
Um, so this evening, I'm uh, going to be cooking a little bit of uh, some jalapeno poppers and some boudin mm -hmm. uh, over cast iron on the gas one. Um, we will throw a link in the description to that. Again, not sponsored. Um, they sent us this to review, but the experience that I have with it to this point is amazing. Yeah. Like, it's phenomenal the way it cooks. All right, well, I'm starving, so yes. cook me up some dinner. We can try. All right, guys. So as you can see, we've got the burner lit up here, and I just want to take a couple of minutes and talk about Gas One as a company and the products that they provide and the support that they offer. Uh, their website says it as plain as day as to what their mission is, and I can 100% attest to they back their mission. And it says their mission is simple, provide reliable quality products at an affordable price to those who support us. And another big thing with them and the opportunities that we've had to work with Gas One over this project is they treat you like family. If there's any questions, if there's any type of concern that you have, you send them an email, you give them a phone call, and within two or three hours, uh, unless it was in the middle of the night, we had a response. And we never had any issues with the products that we were testing out. And I, for one, am gonna be somebody that, that's gonna purchase more products from them because the quality, the price, and most importantly to us, the opportunity to support a company that's on the cutting edge of the outdoor community. Finally, guys, uh, Gas One has a plethora of products to support the outdoor community. They've got portable stoves, burners, charcoal grills, kettles, pots, uh, cookware, and all of the accessories to go along with it. And a little bit about the product that we're using. We are using the 200,000 BTU high pressure, low profile burner. Uh, model number is BTAC5450. And I, I can't speak highly enough about this particular burner, guys. Uh, some, some of the quick specs on it, it's metal frame, cast iron burner, obviously a 200,000 BTU output. The dimensions are absolutely perfect for if you're gonna travel but you need to cook a little bit larger amount outside of a portable stove at 16 inches by 16 inches by 12.25 inches. Um, they say the weight's 25 pounds. I really, it's not, it's not that bad. It's really not. And I mean, it just uses a regular propane fuel tank. You can use, as long as you've got the regulator adapter for it. A couple of features from this specific burner are the welded frame, fully adjustable air control panel, which is the piece that you'll see on the side that we use to regulate it, the massive high output burner, and the high temp coating. And the coating itself has held up a lot better than I was expecting, I'm not gonna lie, especially for the price point that this burner's at. Uh, there's a little bit of patina to it, but as far as the actual, how the coating is held up, you couldn't ask for anything more from a high output burner like this. Okay guys, I hope that gives you a little bit better insight into Gas One as a company, some of the products that they offer, all of this stuff we'll have links to in the description below. And with that, let's get back to cooking and eating. It is a phenomenal product. It does get a little warm. I've got my high heat gloves on. I mean, we've been at this just a couple of minutes now and it's does not take it long at all. I don't even know if we mentioned exactly what we were cooking, yeah. <laughs> did we? <laughs> I think I did. Okay, well, I know it's jalapeno poppers wrapped in bacon, as you guys can see, but there's a little something extra in it. We got ourselves shrimp inside it. And this is what we got at Bucky's the yes. other day. Well, 
from our last video. Technically, yes. it was today. Same day. But last video. But last <laughs> And then we got some boudin going as well. Yep. So we're just going to eat it right out of the pot here because this is where we put it in. And we have no plates. But we do have reusable utensils. <laughs> so eat. that's how it turned out. Mm, looking good. I wish you had smell good. a vision. Imagine, close your eyes, breathe it in. I think it's done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shrimp. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought it was gonna be like a cream cheese. It's um it's a like a pepper jack. Yeah. It's a stuff with like pepper jack cheese, not cream cheese. That's good. I like the creamy the it's it's you almost a little bit more creamy. You wanna flip those? Mm. I'm being called back to the kitchen. I have to come right now. Nope. So we're doing this in a couple of courses. So while we're eating a little bit, because we are we were really hungry. Um Brie stepped over to grab uh the boudin and flip it. How's it looking? Uh okay, one of them split though. Uh well. Boudin we knew that was like that Boudin we knew does that though. Well, we knew that was a thing because they were still kind of frozen. All right, so we got one whole boudin and one busted up one. Yeah. But that happens a lot. I sometimes prefer the ones that are busted up because you can take them and you put some eggs over them. Amazing. Mm. Like turns into a fried rice. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Mm. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It kind of has a lot of sage in it. Yeah, this is uh, Bucky's mild boudin. And I, know, I just grabbed whatever was in there. Yeah, yeah. This so. is, I mean, it's really, really good. I like it a lot. It's better than like the boudin you would get like in the grocery stores even, I think. Yeah, around around this area you go. Mm hmm And it, even though like because of the the smoke and some of the steam rising up off of it, it really crisps even the sides. Mm -hmm. I know when you cook uh, in a pan at home on a stove top, it won't be cooked. Like the skin won't be cooked, it still seems underdone. So even though like you have just a good sear on two sides, that smoke and that heat really helps cook yeah. the sides as well. I've noticed yeah. cooking it on this burner. Morning, yes, it is morning time here at KOA campsite. Mm -hmm. And where exactly is this location? So this is technically in uh, an area called New England, Tennessee. Okay, got it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, if you look it up, it's uh, the KOA at Chattanooga is what it, whenever you look it up, it'll KOA at Chattanooga or KOA at Lookout Mountain. So. But we are all packed up. We are ready to hit the road. This was an amazing stay. Yes. If we are ever back in this area, I would be staying here yeah. at this campsite. Absolutely. I wish we kind of could stay more than one more day to experience like really in depth all that this place has to offer. But it is time to get on the road. And here is a glimpse what you can expect in our next video. Yes, it's going to be good. All right, guys, well, 
there's just a quick snapshot of what's coming up. And with that being said, we... And with that being said, remember that an ordinary life is truly extraordinary. We will catch you on our next adventure. Yep. If you look at the red knob, one direction will say on, one direction will say off. Oh, the knob. Yeah, the red this knob. One, this. Yeah, the red. <laughs> wow! Too bad you didn't get that on camera. That startled me. Yeah, Woo! so one of the things with any gas burner, whenever you shut it off, um, if you close it too quickly, you get the little pop, which you may have heard. <laughs> Tell me that on purpose. You wanted me to get startled, didn't you? The little jump. <laughs> Beautiful. Would you like me, to, me? Would you like me to get the mic in on closer on that? <laughs> no, I mean, this is just amazing. <laughs>